Hey guys, so welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr. If you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that is what we do here. Also, please like this video if you haven't already because that super helps us out with the algorithm and it lets me know that you like me doing this style of video games apologies in advance for the audio quality i know i was really soft spoken but um hopefully that doesn't detract from the entire game experience also trigger warning content warning there is an animal death and they do linger in the frame where you can see the animal for a few minute or two so if that's something that you really don't want to see i will try to make a timestamp on that so that we can avoid it so you can skip through and you can keep watching the rest of the video or if you don't like this one that's okay you can click off and i'll see you in the next one that's more your speed again i appreciate you now let's get into indica do this. It's as if they blocked the passage on purpose. The brake is rusted shut. I have to find something to get rid of the screw. Okay, so it won't fucking budge. This is where the devil is. The life of St. John. One day, Venerable John fell into a pit. He was a God-fearing and meek monk, so he remained in the pit with humility. On the third day, John doubted himself. Had he, out of cowardice, mistaken the Lord's test for his will? Should he sit at the bottom of the pit in his own filth, or climb out of the darkness and into the light? John started to pray to God, and he immediately gave John a sign. A spruce branch leaped down into the pit. John grabbed the branch and climbed out of the pit. After realizing that, in his hubris, he had been tempted by the demons, John cried. Terrified, he jumped back into the pit and prayed for God's forgiveness. God forgave John and awarded him with numerous spiritual gifts. As a more boy. What is this? <gasps> Okay, well that's really freaky. Uh, but that's not a body, so that's good. Oh my gosh, I'm freaked out. Get me out of here. I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. That's your chicken. Who <laughs> leveled up? Maybe there's something in that shed.
just look at it. My desk creaked. I am not suited for these sort of things. I know there's going to be something like a slight jump scare. I've missed this smell. So that's why I'm so freaked out right now. I should not have even uh, watched the demo. <laughs> It did cook it easily until a 5mm wrench from a 40mm one just by looking at them. This one was somewhere in between. Okay, so that could be useful, eh? Fragment of a folding icon. O Lord, cleanse us of sin. O Son of God, forgive us our wickedness. O Holy Spirit, come to us and heal our maladies. So? Found a wrench. Give it to me. Come take it. We're just gonna keep moving. Buddy? Buddy, what's that? This is the, the sound. The creaking. See him do his best. Fuck. Lord have mercy. What's that? Just a dog. Calm down. I hate them. Hurry up. Well, I hate you, Ilya. Quiet, quiet, little doggy. We won't hurt you. Are you crazy? Run! What the heck? That is not a little dog. You know, I, I would have already fucked you up with my bare hands if I wanted. Well, hand. Why? I mean, why the fuck did you throw away the revolver? Oh, it would have been useful. I mean, a girl. I, I, would, I would never. Tell me something. If you're God's chosen one, why didn't God heal you completely right away? That's a good question. Here's your answer. Here. Here. Kudits. 20th of March, Temple of John of Damascus, Spasov. The only rational remedy from infertility, insobriety, infidelity, and other physical complications and, and afflictions of the soul. Uh, okay. The Kajets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Kajets. Come on. <laughs> I don't understand. So God had enough power only to stop the rotting, but... To heal you completely, he needed some kind of tool. Look, it's not, it's, it's not about the tool. A man can't be saved against his will, you see. Basically, look, yeah, it has nothing to do with my arm. It's about the path. The path we've been given. And whether to follow it or not, it's up to us. And what do I have to do with it?
So, possessed people are taken to the Kajits? Everybody is. Do I look possessed to you? No, not you. All right, let's get out of here. She's like, no, not you, but me. Hoist me up. Me hoist you up? Yes, you. You won't be able to pull me up from up there. Shit. Ilya? Go. Are you alive? <sighs> Ilya? Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. What's going on? <sighs> Damn. <sighs> It wasn't a coincidence, and now Indica realized it too. She had heard about the Kudets and its miracles, but right now, in Spasov and Ilya, meeting a prisoner who talks to God would not be an everyday occurrence. Also, Indica took a liking to him. Who, this one? <laughs> no. One way or another, there was certainly no doubt that she had to head for Spasov, and not the Danilov Monastery. <gasps> the letter! I cannot neglect my duty. What if there's something important in it? Open it. See for yourself. No! Reading someone else's letter is a greater sin than not delivering it. Greater? How much greater? Twice as much. I don't know. Interesting. So, not delivering two letters is the same as reading one. What about stealing, pocketing a ruble, for example? Is that worse? Worse. How much worse? This is nonsense. You can't compare such things. Why not? I love it. The priest imposes a different penance for different sins, and since you know for sure which is better or worse, there has to be a way of measuring. Then let us say that stealing is ten times worse than not delivering a letter. What about murder? Let us put that at a thousand letters. That would mean that if a postman were to lose a sack full of letters, we'd have a murderer. Although, maybe there should be a bulk discount. <laughs> what about a rapist. A rapist is better than a murderer, right? She's like, I'm not even gonna entertain that. You are not scared of the sin. You are scared of the letter. Perhaps you should not open it. Do not do it. Actually, do it. I don't know what it says to. The abbess knows you inside out, so everything turned out just as written. <laughs> Defrocked her? How did that happen? <laughs> Even if the Kia wasn't after Tikhon had knocked her up, but you! <laughs> First, you got pushed out of your house, and then out of the monastery! He's gonna send another postcard for Easter. <laughs> And it will get returned. Sorry, she's not here anymore. Oh, Defrocked. <laughs> so where now? Huh? Huh? So many options. Oh, well done, Barbara. Although I cry to thee as the prodigal, I have sinned before thee, O merciful Father. Receive me, and penitent, and make me as one of thy hired servants. 
I saw his wasted with evil and his barren of good deeds. But I beseech thee, O Lord, pour out upon me a drop of thy mercy and cleanse me, for I am defiled by many sins and my ineffable and unseen. Passion, I dare to approach thee, O Christ. Receive me as thou didst the publican, the prodigal, and the harlot. For as thou in thy deep wisdom hast had compassion on us, so also in these latter days hast thou made us anew by thy blood shedding. O ineffable and unseen grave. even have anything to say. The abbess knows you inside out, so everything turned out just as written. <laughs> Defrocked her? How did that... I have recklessly forgotten thy glory as well, that and all sins I have scattered the riches which thou gavest me. Like the man who fell among thieves and was wounded, so have I also fallen through my sins. Out of the monastery! <laughs> And if, by chance, you were to kill someone... I saw this wasted with evil and this barren of good deeds, but I beseech thee, O Lord, pour out upon me a drop of thy mercy and cleanse me, for I am defiled by many sins, and I will praise thy name all of the days of my life, because of thy... Sorry, she's not here anymore, Deef. Don't grieve over lost points, they're useless anyway. Yes, I've been told that. What did we do it? Where's the dog? Good question. I haven't heard it for a while. Listen, I'll help you get to Spasov. Somehow, Indica was convinced that the Kudyets was going to solve all of her problems. That soon the voice in her head would disappear, and she would return to the monastery as someone who deserves at least forgiveness, if not everyone's love. She thought that years of suffering had been leading her up to this exact moment. I've figured out what this place is. This is Denisovka, the paint factory. Martha told me about it. She, she's our iconographer. They make yellow paint in that shed. Where is everyone? There was an explosion. They say everyone was evacuated in one day. Americans, I guess. Very likely. Or the English. Freaking Americans. Life of Saint Metropolit ooh, Metropolitan Sinuous. Once a demon possessed the hair of Saint Metro Metropolitan Sinuous. His hair began to stand up like twigs on a broom when it was least expected. During his services, Sinuous Mitre would jump up, scaring his parish. No matter how much he prayed, the demon would not let him go. One day, Sinus made two holes in his mitre and tied it to his head with a string so tightly that when he started the liturgy, instead of raising the mitre, his hair burrowed into his head. Since then, Sinus became meek and short-spoken, and the demon had to look for another host. This is how God taught the demon a lesson. 
Sometimes I feel like my hair is possessed by a demon. So where do we go now? Stairs! There should be a station behind the windmill. Work with me. Wrong uh, way. I won't make it. Hold on. <clears throat> we'll think of something. Exactly what we need. Why are you standing around? How long can dogs stay underwater, huh? I don't know. I'd wait for a couple of hours, just to be sure. <laughs> the stairs are broken. We'll have to go through the mill. Beautiful. We had this one artist in the clink. He drew his family on the wall with his own shit. They look so lifelike. What? He was like that. <laughs> Didn't manage to finish the drawing of the daughter, though. Le left her with just one eye. He got stabbed. Because of the stench? No. He, he was drawing on the wall outside. It was minus 30 degrees. Shit doesn't really stink when it's cold. He got stabbed because... Well, it's against the code. They don't really like you doing that, I guess. It's against the code. Bizarre. Poor guy. So where do we go now? The elevator! It doesn't fucking work. Nothing works here right now. <laughs> Here's the gearing. 
planetary gear set by by blocking one of the wheels you can change the direction of the shaft rotation I see I guess we should look for an intact cotter I see broken cotter inserting this into the groove ensures torque transmission What's the hold up? It's a cotter, a safeguard. It breaks when there's an overload to protect the important parts of the engine. I see. <laughs> He's like, cool. That's cool. It works! Go down! I can't go down. Something's in the way. Ah! Oh. Going up. What's in the way? Down. Going down. Oh shit! That's our exit! Oh, so, you're so you're suggesting walking that plank? Are you afraid of heights? No, no. Ever been to the circus? Yeah, yeah.
killed it. I don't deserve it. Spiders. Sinful. There are no sinners among dogs. Only humans can sin. I'm tempted by the devil. And that dog, its humans left, stopped feeding it. So it became a matter of survival. Interesting. So what's the difference between a human and a dog? The thing you're blaming the devil for is as likely to happen to a human as it is to a dog. It gets angry when its food is taken away. It's ready to tear anyone apart if its possessions are threatened. A dog gets sad if its beloved human is not around. It gets jealous, anxious, even sodomy as possible. Remember that one time when Georgie... That's different. I needed to survive. To find the most promising partner, give birth to offspring. And a human? You have such a simple explanation for a dog. But how come humans can never do without divine or devilish intervention? That was awful. Finally, the station. Does a, does a dog have a soul? Dogs adore their masters. Is that even possible without a soul? Does one need a soul to feel love? Is it possible to love without a body? What remains if you deprive a dog of a body? How can it love something it can't hear or sniff? How can it remember someone it loves if it loses its brain with its memories? In a world without bones, cold, procreation, beautiful women, rich men, bodies, basically, passion, kindness, love. Can any of it exist without the body? For a dog. What? Uh, yes, F for a dog. Crane could move it. <laughs> yeah, D bag. Now we got it. Use it. If this thing still works, it's a miracle. How can I detach the load? Oh, gotta figure it out. Why figure it out? It works anyway, right? Look, there's a platform on the other side. What are you doing? Where, when's the next train? What if it's tomorrow? The station must have the schedule. 
What's the point? I, I don't think it's going to stop here. So what do we do? Have you read Mark Twain? Tom Sawyer? Yes. So... I like it. Me too. Oh, Watch it! Oh. <laughs> Watch it! What are you doing? The people who made this game definitely have a sense of humor. Watch it! Ideas are so strange for a nun. Those aren't my ideas. I mean, I didn't choose the monastery life. Were you sent there against your will or something? Not against my will. I mean, when you're 15, the monastery isn't really a dream destination. There was no other way. Sometimes there are circumstances. You have a choice with a monastery. Or... S circumstances. You you were 15, and now you're like an angel of God. Even though you're black all over, I, 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 I mean your clothes. Your clothes are black. Fallen as far as not, I have. Not anything else? Fallen? How? Yellow? Yellow ticket or something? What? Only known one. Have you have you been married? No, never. Why am I even explaining myself to you? I think these are so cute. Get some sleep. Tomorrow is a big day. Sava Ilich is coming to make his official proposal. Look, it's such a starry night, but one star is missing and waiting for you on the roof.
really such a nostalgic feeling. Like. It's so should have known. One star is missing. So corny. Where's my bike? Listen, something happened. You're not gonna believe me. Thief. Scumbag. <sighs> what is that melody? I wrote it. You're lying again. I'm not. I wrote it that evening when I met you. This is the Spasso Fish Factory. I think nobody's there now. It's good. The line to the city's always open. How do you know all this? You work there? I'm not a chance. My mum worked there. it off no, no matter how she tried. I even loved that smell. And she was shy about it. Wh whenever she had to go to the store or was summoned to my school, she she used some unbearable perfume. Mm. It would tickle my fucking nose whenever she hugged me. Where is she now? I, I, I don't know. Please don't get to do that. 
Not again. It feels to take my wimple off. My head's so itchy all the time. I'm not even allowed to sleep without it. It's not like anything anyone will see you if you take it off. The dean walks around all night checking on us. Really? It's just like the screws in the clink. Mardine is more like a warden. She also manages the coin and assigns our bunks. And... Small from your arm is unbearable. We have to go. No sleep. How rude. It's like you stank. Abstinence. When words are many, he said it's not lacking. So the monastery wasn't your choice? It was. But when your decision has a reason, is it really a choice? When a brook hits a rock, does it choose which way to go? Oh, fuck me. You're, you're, you're not Brooke. You, you have your own free will. Free will. Choices. But whenever we make a choice, don't we base it on our previous experience? Don't we estimate all the possible benefits in our head? And if we go against the rational, don't we realize that we're being driven by our emotions, by our passions? Do you understand? As I was saying, our will helps us to control our passions, resist temptation. That's true. But when you control your emotions, there's always a reason, right? You can explain why you're doing it, build a string of logic. If the soul didn't exist, all that remains would be your logical shit. How the fuck can one live without a soul? Humans haven't learned that yet. Ask him if he knows what a soul even is. Everyone says soul this, soul that, but can anyone clearly explain what it is? Yes, but even a soul has its own inclinations. But let's say your soul gravitates towards God, and mine doesn't. 
Is that my choice then? Well, in theory, let, let's imagine that the choice isn't based on anything. What kind of choice is it then? Pure chance. Wait, so, so you're saying choice is an empty word? Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't even understand the point of this whole choice thing, this freedom that God has graced us with. Why would God need our so-called freedom if in the end he's only satisfied with strictly defined choices? What is going on? He could have just made me in a way he would have liked me. in front of people. I've got a standing ovation. Can you play something? How can I? These icons were never popular, even though they were sold for 10 rubles in the store, compared to 20 for four separate icons. After all, four icons on the wall are four icons on the wall. So, Mother of God, Saint John of Damascus, was falsely accused of treachery and had his hand cut off. After he prayed to the Mother of God, his hand grew back, and as a sign of gratitude, John attached a silver head to an icon. But why the third head on most icons is viewed as belonging to the Mother of God herself, Indica did not know. Who are they? I don't know. Never seen those before.
Here's what I think. Oh, shit. Here, here we go again. I'm not telling you anything from now on. Oh, come on. I, I, I'm joking. Tell me. You, you were wondering about freedom. Why did God make you free? Here, here's what I think. If I were the Tsar, I, I wouldn't want my wife to be a slave. I, I would find myself a free girl that can love me genuinely. Do you, do you understand? Yes, it's a good example. But now imagine if your Tsar has found himself a girl he loves. Can you? So? So he confesses his feelings to her and invites her to his palace. So? And now imagine that the Tsar also says, if you come, I'll drape you in gold. And if you don't, I'll hang you on a hook and burn you slowly. This also requires her to return his feelings. I see where you're going with this. But it's not God who burns people in hell. That would be those damn demons, enemies of mankind. Very well. In this case, the Tsar says, if you come, I'll cover you in gold. And if you don't, Pa from the Butcher will catch you, hang you on a hook, and burn you slowly. I love you endlessly, but can't do anything about it. Think about it. If even the Tsar can't actually do anything about this Butcher because of some unclear circumstances, why can't he just stay silent? So you're, you're saying nobody can love God genuinely? No. No, it's not like that. I... Check one place before the line. Where? You'll see. I've hidden something there. Huge, All right. Huge tuna fish gets. Why is everything huge? See, that's is, this is what I'm saying. Like, this is... Maybe she's really lost in her life. Because those fish were trying to ignore this. I have a feeling. Where are we going exactly? We have to go over there. We can climb on those cans! Oh, can we? You, you can control this thing too! It's not that complicated! Do we really need it? We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Are we even allowed here? There's nobody here. Everyone's asleep. The one on the right is ours.
is this? I mean, oh, glimmering lights. It's called a stroboscope effect, like looking through a bike wheel. Yeah, well, uh... <clears throat> well, I mean, it's pretty. Just for this. I'll show you. Sit down. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help 
gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.